Okay, let's talk about 1.2 uh, number sequences uh, and successive differences. Okay, so we're pretty good at uh, already, we, we've already got some, in, in your past, you've got some uh, experience with, uh, with sequences. We're kind of trained at a young age to recognize sequences, recognize a pattern, predict the next number in the pattern. That's what we're going to see here in this number sequences, successive differences uh, topic. Uh, so an arithmetic sequence is a common difference between successive terms. This is kind of your most common pattern, number pattern type of idea. So if we are given an ordered list of numbers, such as 3, 9, 15, 21, 27, and maybe we want to predict the next number, the next few numbers, uh, we need to look for a pattern. So I'm going to look for some change here. What's the change from 3 to 9? Well, the change is 6. From 9 to 15 is 6. From 15 to 21 is 6. 21 to 27 is 6. And it could go on, uh, and we could use that to predict the next number. Uh, the next number might be 33 because 27 plus 6 is 33, 33 plus 6 would be 39, and so on. So we're counting by sixes. Okay? Now, one thing the book's going to throw at you, uh, kind of as a, uh, maybe as the inductive reasoning type of thing, is it would say maybe these first six, these first five numbers are the Mondays on a calendar, and so... This would be Monday the 3rd, Monday the 9th, Monday the 15th, Monday the 21st, Monday the 27th. By inductive reasoning, we expect the next number to be 33, but we also said inductive reasoning doesn't have to be true. If this were a calendar, there's no 33 on a calendar. The next Monday might be the 2nd of the next month, okay? Kind of silly, but that's something that you're going to see maybe in your homework, okay? So arithmetic sequence, we're just looking for common differences. Okay, geometric sequence. Now we're going to be given a, a sequence of, and we're going to look for a pattern of change, except that pattern has a ratio or some type of multiplier. By, by ratio, I mean some type of multiplier in between successive terms. So here we're given an ordered list of numbers, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Uh, there's here from 1 to 2, I'm going to go through my arithmetic sequence. 1 to 2 is a change of 1. 2 to 4 is a change of 2, 4 to 8 is a change of 4. It's not arithmetic, so maybe it's geometric. Maybe there's some kind of multiplier there. Uh, so we look, and 1 to 2 is times 2, 2 to 4 is times 2, 4 to 8 is times 2, 8 to 16 is times 2, 16 to 32 is times 2. We would predict that 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, and so on. Okay. So we have arithmetic and we have geometric, and then we have successive differences. And this is going to be the most complicated one, but if you go through the process and do the math, uh, it's not so difficult. Okay? This is a method of finding the next number in the sequence where the solution is not found using previous methods. So if we're given a list of numbers, let's, let's work through our, uh, our other types. Arithmetic. Well, 2 to 6 is 4, 6 to 22 is 16, 22 to 56 would be a difference of 34, so it's not arithmetic. Uh, 2 to th t 6 would be times 3, but 6 times 3 would be 18. Eight, and so we don't have this times 3 idea. There's no ratio here. So what we've got to do is we've got to break this down. We're going to break it down almost, uh, we're looking for differences, almost like an arithmetic sequence. Uh, and we're going to try to find a pattern after breaking it down. The difference between 2 and 6 is 4. 6 and 22 is 16. 22 and 56 would be 34. And 56 and 114, uh, let, me, let me get out my calculator here. Uh, let's see, 114 minus 56. Uh, computer's working a little bit slow today. Uh, 114 uh, minus 56, and you're going to want your calculators on these because we're going to get some big numbers. 58. So I don't see any pattern there. So I'm going to break it down again. I'm going to use this sequence to find differences. 4 to 16 is a difference of 12. 16 to 34 is a difference of 18. And 34 to 58 is a difference of 24. Now I'm starting to see a pattern here. 
Difference between 12 and 18 is 6. Difference between 18 and 24 is 6. So now I've got my pattern here. Okay, so now I'm going to work back up. So I'm going to make this extra little, I've got these little type of, I don't know, ledges to show the differences. So now I'm going to make one and I'm going to work out to the next number. 24 plus 6 is 30. 58 plus 30 is 88. And then 114 plus 88 is going to be the next number in my sequence. So I get out my calculator, 114 plus 88. The next number is going to be 202. Okay, so you're going to want to work down and then work your way back up. All right, let's try another one. 14, 22, 32, 44. Difference here is 8, 10, 12. Hey, I feel like there's a pattern there. Right, difference between 8 and 10 is 2. Difference between 10 and 12 is 2. So if we go another, 2 plus 12 is 14. 14 plus 44 is 58. Okay, so that one's pretty simple compared to the first one. But you're going to see some big numbers, okay? Let's do one more. Uh, practice these. You probably want to hit pause and try this next one on your own and then see, and then hit play again and see what I come up with. Okay, the difference here is 10. 15 to 37 is 22. 37 to 77 is 40. 77 to 141, get my calculator. Don't want to make a mistake here. Ruin the whole problem is 64. All right, don't see a pattern yet. 10 to 22 is 12. 22 to 40 is 18. And 40 to 64 is 24. Here I do see a pattern. 12 to 18 is 6. 18 to 24 is 6. So now I'm going to build back up. 24 plus 6 is 30. 64 plus 30 is 94. 141 plus 94 is 141 plus 94 is 235. Okay, so you're going to see those in the homework. Uh, practice those. These are the types of things that you, I, I would think you're going to want to see on the test because we're pretty good at those. We can get these right. All right, uh, good luck.